and black bloc are trying to achieve those goals as being effective. So when we address this topic as the only government uh, brought up the nature of democracy, we're going to extend this in terms of actualizing any nature of the situation within Egypt right now. We have to look at a few points. Uh, the first point that I'd like to look at is how the black bloc movement right now is an extension of the initial revolution that took place uh, of, uh, against uh, Mubarak. Uh, and then the second point is how this is also a justification for attacks on the Muslim Brotherhood specifically, because the opening uh, the opening opposition tried to say that they've attacked the Muslim Brotherhood, not the government. I'll show you how attacks on the Muslim Brotherhood that was obviously made in uh, the news that it was primarily student led. It was definitely a huge factor, but you had socioeconomic conditions within Egypt that led to this revolution as well. There were huge levels of unemployment. There were huge repressions of any form of political uh, 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 discourse that in any way challenged the views of the Mubarak regime. At the point where those were the means or the, the reasons why uh, the revolution was actually advocated for and why it became so popular, the form of government that began to the revolution had reasons for why this revolution was so important. Before I move on to my second question. There's a lack of understanding of the situation in Egypt. The black bloc movement is aggressively opposed to any Islamic society, which represents the majority of Egypt. Rather than an explicitly not by the original founder of Muslim Brotherhood, essentially was an organization that tried to reject the forms of uh, of monarchies that were occurring across the rest of the Middle East, while simultaneously also rejecting the repression within Egypt itself, and it was also in response to British oppression. That extended through the Mubarak regime when eventually Mubarak took control of Egypt because of this lack of political representation. The problem with this is that now you have that the Muslim Brotherhood has left alone and there's repressing minorities that are repressing all forms of political discourse that are not 100% in line with that self organization. At the point where they're doing this, they're rejecting the very foundation in which they began. At, once you accept this fact, and once you understand the reality of the Muslim Brotherhood being a key factor in Egyptian democracy currently failing, you have to look to them as the root cause that needs to be attacked. That's where the mindset called out there and advocated by these OPEC monarchs across the Middle East and putting them and implementing them into their society. They're no longer representing the populace within Egypt. They're not just, they're not uh, saying all Islam is bad. They're saying this Islamist ideology of exclusion is bad. That's where the black bloc comes into play. They're a Marxist organization, they're a radical organization, they're an anarchist organization, but they also include realms of liberalism. And I'll go into your point. You said that uh, the first thing you're actually said at this point, or what is the positive matter that preemptive uh, uh, actions are unjustified, which was why the Black Bloc is not justified to take their actions. The problem with that is after the uh, uh, the, the Muslim Brotherhood has taken violent actions against protesters since they've gone into power. So that's that justification. There was, once the law was passed for uh, refusing the right to vote for women, Muslim uh, Brotherhood immediately cracked down on protests in a violent manner of those who were standing up and saying, we want the right to vote, we want this inclusion. At the point where the Muslim Brotherhood is no longer representing the ideals of all those within Egypt, the Black Bloc is representing the far left. They're representing the far wing that's advocating for more inclusion, all 100% inclusion, though we do not make the argument that, yes, the Black Bloc should take over the entire country. We're not saying that. We're saying that their discourse is necessary in order for the development of democracy to continue within Egypt. So, what do we look to in this round? There are a few key points that have been addressed on.